Hey, what's up you guys, and welcome to the Shadows that run alongside our car. This is a fun little indie game that you can go find on itch.io for only a small fee, so if the framework will work with me, I guess we'll just start. Whose eyes will you see the road through? Click one. I can see the eyes for the girl or the guy. I'm, I'm gonna go with the guy just because he looks cool. So kind of neat with like little crack stuff. <laughs> Gun it! <laughs> I put the pedal to the floor. The wheels screech as we pull out into the lane. The car's worse, but it doesn't really matter. There's no one else out here as far as the eye can see. The abandoned station shrinks behind us until it's gone. And then it's just us in the long road. The world lies out the windows, passes by as an abstract. Like the whole world giving up on having any meaning. We drive in silence. After a while I hear the faint buzzing of the, of the power window being rolled down. You sure that's a good idea? Sounds like the zombies are going to hurl themselves at the moving car. Fair enough. This is really cool. Well, that was a thrilling conversation. So, guess this is kind of strange to be asking after three whole days, but what's your name anyway? Right, we never did introduce ourselves, it's... Shelby. No. No, Shelby never seems like a good name. I have seen other playthroughs of this, where they played as the girl. Like, no, they, no Shelby. Uh, I want to call her... I mean, her, her kind of reminds me of, like... I'm gonna call her Catherine. Catherine. Well, not the fish you meet you, then, Catherine. Names... Dustin. I mean, it goes with the accent, but... Mmm, I don't like Dustin. For some reason. I'll name you... Daniel. I like Daniel. It's a good southern name. Daniel. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the car shut briefly as we rumble over a series of potholes, but then the road moves again. The humming of the engine reminds me of a storm brewing far off on the horizon. Beyond these occasional noises, we sit in silence. So, what were you doing before everything happened? Hmm? Oh. Wow, that's the first time she actually started a conversation. Guess I'm not so intimidating after all. What was I doing? God, what was I? A whole lot of nothing. I bet that sounds super impressive, huh? Just a scruffy drifter. Not so sure she wants to hear that. Uh Bent the truth. I was moving, cross country. Then everything went south. What about you? This right is yours, right? I know my my accents suck, but <laughs> hmm? yeah. Well it's really my dad's car, or was. Even when he was alive, though, I was the only one who ever drove it. Oh, guess he didn't. Sorry, never mind. It's okay, the boost would have killed him eventually, anyway. Ooh, it's so pretty. Hmm. It's pretty quiet in here, huh? Surprisingly, not much noise at the end of the world. Do you think there's any radio stations left? I'd be pretty shocked if so. Breaking it couldn't hurt the look though. See, it fits perfectly with like his text and stuff. She's fiddling with the dial and I'm pretty sure we're not gonna find anything. Instead it comes in and out in waves. Every so often the distortion gives the illusion of an actual sound. But then it goes right back to nothingness. Just then though. Hang on a sec, go back down. I think I actually heard something. 
The noise phases in and out, then as something comes into auditory focus. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, for the building, it's mine. Caring to pants like a criteria. You're still a little bit more. Maybe, say you. You would have to sit here and. You don't even know if you're going to sing when you come to spill the day. No, I can't buy the hell with those. Så vi skal ikke lige få lov at ringe tilbage med et kvarter, Max. Tak. Hvorfor er det? Is that mariachi? Hmm. I can't contain myself. The sound is unmistakable. Horns blare joyously over the static and sick fanfare. While a man's voice waits, wails soulfully over it. In lieu. Amen. Forstyrrer sig fra alle sider. Jesus. I'm laughing so hard I nearly pissed myself. Catherine's nearly there too. That was not what I was expecting. Who the hell's out there running this? Of all the music that would be left. Man. I sink back into the driver's seat, let my mind drift to the music. The dissonance is almost comforting. As the fractured chorus was over me, I try to pretend that I'm lounging in a trophy somewhere. Out in the sun, mid-afternoon. Sure thing, but dirty from a hard day's work. For a moment, I almost believe it. The music falls short for a few days before starting up again. Wait, isn't this the same song again? Ugh, it's probably on an endless loop because why wouldn't it be? Sure seems that way. Yes, it's just ghost and wave after all. Ghost suddenly waves. And the undead aren't exactly <laughs> sorry, wrong voice. <laughs> and the undead aren't exactly interested in DJing. What you think a zombie even listen to? Is death metal is death metal too obvious of an answer? Rob Zombie? Or maybe they're all in baby metal these days. What is baby metal? I'm sorry, let's just pop a second. Can someone please explain to me what baby metal is? Please. <laughs> oh well. I don't know, I think the Grateful Dead seems more apt. You know, I've always wondered this, but what are they grateful for exactly? Maybe they found maybe they finally found themselves some peace. Peace, huh? I wish they'd let the rest of us have some. Ain't so bad right now anyway. Well, except for that. I shake my hand of at the radio controls. So what are you into anyway? Music wise? I like a land for that. Top 40 is that sort of thing. You and don't tell me it's baby metal. Will you ju hmm. Will you judge me for say I actually haven't heard of them? No, that might be for the best. What do you listen to then? Most people look at me and expect me to be into the Stones or Marley or something, but well, you probably actually judge me more for this. <laughs> Try me. Try me, bitch. Abba. <laughs> Just as I thought, she starts laughing at my expense. It's a nice sound, though. I'm not gonna be poetic and say it sounds like music or anything like that. Still, it's good to hear. Told you. No, no, it's fine. Their, their music's catchy. I mean, my parents listen to ABBA, but it's fine. Your parents? Yush. How old are you anyway? You seem a bit young for Alanis. 
How old do you think I am? I'm pretty sure there's no right answer to that question. Except for that one. I'm 22. Yeah. I could see her as a 22 year old. But also I could also see her as a 17 year old, so... Hmm. Shit. God, that's so young. She's practically a kid. And here I was, taking her for 17 year old. What was I doing when I was 22? Still wasting my life, I reckon. Wonder if she's even been to school. That young and the whole damn world crashing down around her. How old are you? Huh? Daniel. I try not to make a face, but I can't see my knuckles going wide as my fingers grip harder into the wheel. This piece is kind of similar to ABBA, isn't it? All peppy and stuff? You should be happy to have it. There sure is an optimistic take on it, Messi. Alright, enough of you. I reach down, turn the volume knob to a short lift, and the radio blissfully goes silent. Farewell, wailing man. Now it's just us again. Mm. Did you ever expect things to end up this way? It's getting dark, huh? Don't touch the fucking question! The sun sets so late in the summer. I guess you don't want to think about it. I can't say I blame her. I'm pretty surprised we still have any light at this hour. Especially without the street lights and all. Like the sky's just been saving it up. Looks a bit like a dying fire. Damn, Daniel. That's what, <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> uh, am I some sort of genius? I did not plan that. Damn, Daniel, why so poetic? Kinda fitting for the end of the world. Yeah, Catherine. Avoiding my questions like that. Oh, it's dark now. So, you never really told me what it is that you do. I mean, it doesn't have to be a job or anything, but well... Hmm. What do you like to do? Or what did you do before... everything? Actually, I worked a lot. I keep changing her voice, but that's because my own voice is all fucked. I didn't really have time for much other than that. I would wake up, shower, go to work, have a lunch break back to work, get off work, eat dinner, and watch TV for a few minutes before passing out. God, that is a depressing life, Catherine! Get up there and do some- well, never. I mean, you are in like a zombie apocalypse. But, yeah. And I'll try not to spoil anything for those who maybe haven't seen the playthrough and just come in to watch mine for the first time. God, that is depressing. I never want to end up in a cycle like that. And then the whole thing would start all over again in the morning. See, I would never want to end up in a life like that. My life would be so boring. KYS, like seriously. That was about it. I guess that'd be most people's story. It's tough out there. Was well, tough, probably tougher now. Huh. All kind of pointless in the end, isn't it? You work your damn tail off and everything goes to the pot anyway. And you just wonder why you didn't spend your time better, you know? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Daniel gets it. Damn, Daniel. I'm not gonna stop saying it now that it's covered on the fucking genius. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just take a break here. That's what I'm talking about is I never want my life to be that way. I never want to get like an endless repetitive cycle of stuff. So, which is also why I sh I'm gonna be an actor, hopefully, if that works out. Cause it's never the same, so. Yeah. But I guess that's a <laughs> but I guess that doesn't matter either way. So what about you? I'm sure you didn't spend all your time listening to Abba. Uh. Hmm. I used to travel a lot, looking for work and stuff. I suppose you would call me a bit of a nomad. Well, that sure is lofty. That sounds really cliche. No, really, it sort of suits you. Hmm. 
To tell the truth, I haven't really had much purpose in a while. I've just been getting by. When you can't find something to do, you sort of lose yourself. It gets to a pretty dark place. Got to the point I used to wish I could just take a vacation from life. Guess I got my wish, didn't I? <laughs> Aww. Wishes never do come true the way you expect them to, huh? Yeah, yeah monkey's paw. Yeah, like the monkey's paw, where you're like wishing one hand goes down, but it never ends up the way you want it. I don't think she knows I've noticed, but she's been prisoning her god a lot. Oh, wonder if she's still all right. Since I first ran into her, she's been in a rough way, and I'm not sure it's gotten much better. We probably should have looked for some more bags of that ginger stuff. Still feeling nauseous? Hmm? Oh yeah, it's gotten a little better, but... Adventures! Uh, I'm just exhausted, which doesn't help things. You know how it is. I do, but... Christ, I'm really not equipped for this. I know first aid, I can stitch up a cut, but... Gastric distress is a bit beyond me. You'll think we should stop and rest? Nah, like it or not, we'll be stopping soon anyway. Breaking would just waste gas. Right, the fuel. If anything wasn't so weird these days anyway, I'd call it suspicious that there was only a single tank worth left. Not much we can do about it though. On where it is then. Hmm. Do you ever wonder? Like, why us? How do we make it this far? Whoa, you can see the stars in the background. And is it really such a good thing that we're still alive? Huh, <laughs> didn't used to. Oh, huh, <laughs> did not used to. Honestly, I try not to think so hard about stuff like that. If I stop to wonder what my own life was worth, I... It's a dangerous train of thought, I'll tell you that. We're here, that's what matters. Despite it all, we're here, and we're safe. The how and why of it is just garnish on the salad. You know, I didn't believe it at first. I mean, that we're really facing the apocalypse, or whatever. So the first couple of months I just... kept working, kept on like everything was fine. And then... Listen. You don't gotta answer me if you don't want, but your old man, what happened? My dad? Huh. So he needed more beer, right? Of course he did, he was a deadbeat alcoholic. But they wouldn't even let him in our nearby liquor store anymore, so he wandered off to another one. Just so happened that that part of town was infested. It took a while before he even noticed, since he wasn't really any different from usual. So when you're a zombie, it's like being drunk. <laughs> That's pretty pathetic, huh? But so was my dad. And in the end, I won't be doing much better. Great, now I feel like I don't want to puke. <coughs> Badgers! Hey! Please don't say things like that, Catherine. One of us has to keep this up. Slap my right hand off the wheel and put it on her thigh. Oh, her hand is resting by her leg near the center console, so I reach over. I thought she might pull away, but she doesn't. Her shoulders fall, and I think I hear her sigh. Wow, her skin feels really cold. Is that normal? Maybe because the window's open? Maybe it's because she's sick. Really, I wish I knew a bit more medical shit right about now. Hey! Language! 
Actually, if she had a fever, she would she'd be hotter. But she is hot. But I'm it's chill like that can't be normal. It's not even that cold in here. But we're still here. Just remember that. Until that changes, there's still time. Things might never get any better. I'd be stupid to assume that they would. But while we're still breathing, there's hope. <laughs> That's pretty cheesy, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry about that. About your dad, I mean. Even if it didn't get on with them, I bet it must be hard, losing someone that close to you. Yeah, I guess. It all happened so fast, I'm still trying to come to terms with it. I wouldn't work. I wouldn't worry too much. There's no wrong way to feel. I do not know how to work today. I'm just tired. I guess I'm almost privileged. No one care about. No one I care about has been around in a long while. Mm. I wonder if there's anyone else still out there. I wonder if they're stuck out there, out here like this. I wonder if we'll ever know. Oh, it's dark. If the car clock is set right, it's nearing one in the morning now. The road is as dead as it, were, as it ever was, but it somehow feels even emptier. More sinister. <laughs> like all the shadows behind us are teeming up into a hungry mess, just waiting to swallow us whole. My eyes are getting heavier. We can't stop now, though. We've still got so much farther to go. Even if we... Hey, Daniel? There's something I need to tell you. What? She puts her hand to her stomach again. Lad and instinct tell me not to take my eyes off the ropes, but I do anyway to look at her. She looks really bad. Worse than I've ever seen yet. Wor worse than I've seen yet. A couple of times she opens and shuts her mouth. Why do I have such a bad feeling about it? I should have said something before. I wanted to, but I was scared. I'm still scared. Damn it. God damn it, I should have known it. I've heard so much unreliable crap about the Simpsons, but I guess they weren't so full of shit after all. Damn. Uh, <clears throat> hey, so, it's okay. But I just keep calm, right? We don't even really know how this all works, so... So she's infected! Oh! Maybe that's the way. Does it hurt? Not as much as I expected it to. No, it just feel cold and hungry. Not even sure if that has to do... If that has anything to do with being bitten. If it wasn't for this, so she is infected! Oh my god, that's... that's... whoa. I might think I just imagined it. I wish... I wish I had dreamed... I wish I was dreaming right now, I wish this wasn't reality. Fuck it all. I thought I was keeping it together. Don't do this to me, kid. I swallow, but it doesn't make my, th my throat any less dry. The corners of my eyes are burning. Okay, so you're dehydrated. And she's sick. Careful there, remember that thing about wishes? Hmm. Monkey's paw, right? I guess in a car beats having customers or my manager yell at me. Silver lining. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Retail. Almost... Almost as bad as zombies. Worse, probably. <laughs> it is though, I have worked in retail, it sucks! I try, but I can't muster up the will to laugh. Come on! Oh, shit. Okay. Anyway, you should sleep if you wanna. We'll probably be on this road a while. Yeah, you're right. Will you, will you wake me up if anything happens? Of course. 
And hey, gotta be somewhere better down the road, right? Better than back there at any rate. Yeah, maybe there will even be a station that plays both Atlantis and ABBA. Stop mocking me and my ABBA, okay? If there is, or if there was a station like that out there, I'd love to hear it. Hell, I'd love to shake the hand of whoever was running it. This life's too short to not just do whatever the hell you want. This dude knows stuff. This dude is smart. But I guess it ain't the time to be waxing on that. I don't know how much longer this thing's gonna get us. Well, ain't much else to do now but go until we can't anymore. The road is long and our course is true. Nowhere to run but forward. God, you a cheesy Daniel. What? Is that it? That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so you kind of see it now. The shadows that run alongside our car is about a zombie apocalypse, and the shadows are the zombies running alongside the car here. But this is really cool. So I'll put a link in the description so you can go and, uh, and download this yourself, or you can go pay a small fee for it. And this is a small fee. It's not like money back from Spyro. Don't worry. This is a very small fee. So, but if you enjoyed this video. Why don't you slap the like button, like, uh, with Dalmatian, share, subscribe, leave a comment, whatever you feel like, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.